Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am on Essential Stencils page today talking about some stencils, and I am going to be painting another pumpkin and then adding this, which is one of Essential Stencils, on here. So um, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about how I did this, and I'm going to use some palette knives, and we are going to have some fun. So for those of y'all that don't know me, I just want to say hello. I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. So um, I'm going to share with you my ebook. You can get it for free. It's in the description. And then if you want to purchase any of the stencils today, there are some really great things um, on Essential Stencils website. So feel free to comment, share. Um, I'm going to be picking three people and Essential Stencil is going to be sending um, actually, I'm going to pick three people at the end of this broadcast. So it's not going to be a super long one because I'm going to share with y'all kind of this pumpkin in a smaller version. And then um, those of y'all that are on here, I'm just going to pick three of y'all at the end. I'm just going to watch the comments and yell out three names. And then those three names will get, um, they're going to ship you some stencils, some fun stuff. So I just want to say hello. Thank y'all for being here. Um, this was a pumpkin I was working on earlier today. And I'm going to try to do a smaller one without it falling on me. So this is the goal today. The goal is to have it not fall on my face. Okay, that's the goal. <laughs> because sometimes when you're working with larger pieces, they can just, yeah, it's just harder. Earlier I had it flat but you couldn't see everything as well um, because I had the angle turned. So we're gonna try doing it this way and we're just gonna hope for the best. So I'm gonna share with some of you um, my paints. I'm gonna be using 24 karat gold. It's like, okay, so I have the opposite on. So really, I'm over here, but it looks like I'm over here and it freaks me out every time. So when I'm doing paint and I do it this way, Please forgive me, it's just that I have it opposite, so whenever I put the words on, you can see it correctly, okay? So it just kind of freaks me out a little bit. Okay, so I have the 24 karat gold here I'm gonna be using, and I'm just gonna just kind of do a pumpkin right in here. And um, if you wanna know just some of the background techniques and kind of watch the whole process of this being made, I did it earlier on my page, so you can check it here. Oh, we have a Paint Party Headquarters sister, yay! Yeah, if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, if you'll just put um, hashtag PPHQ sister, so we know who is in the house from, from my group. I would love to see who's on here. Okay, so I'm gonna get a few colors here. Actually, I'm gonna use this one first. Nope, I'm lying. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna go straight to gold because y'all know I love some gold paint. Anybody who's ever painted with me before, you know I love my gold paint. Anybody else love gold metallics? It's my favorite. So I'm just gonna kinda get a pumpkin going here. Let me turn this way so y'all can see. I'm gonna put a really tall, skinny one. And it's almost like a heart shape. So I'm basically doing a similar heart shape here and then just bringing it down. So again, the goal tonight is for this to not fall on me. That's my big goal, number one. <laughs> my second goal is to help y'all show you just kind of how you can paint bigger and have some fun with some stencils from Essential Stencil. So I love this company because I do a lot. I have a vinyl cutter right behind this, um, where I'm talking right now, right behind my iPad. I have a vinyl cutter but what I have found is that sometimes when I teach my paint parties, I really just want to um, have a stencil I can use and I don't have to worry about designing it. I don't have to worry about all of the extras that go with it. And so what I found that is kind of my favorite thing that they're doing are the giant um, signs. Those are my favorite. So guys, I have a coupon code for you if you want to use it, it's in the description. Um, but yeah, those are my favorite, and I actually have one of the welcome signs on my porch um, right out there now, and then I have a Halloween sign that I use black lights for. Um, when I say black lights, I mean I use neon paint, and then if you put a black light on it, it goes crazy. It's awesome. 
Oh my gosh, we have people from everywhere. Canada, Washington, Oklahoma. Hey guys, can y'all pray for the um, Florida, the Florida coast in the Bahamas? Oh my gosh, it's so crazy what's going on. Um, you know, I have a friend in Florida. I'm supposed, I'm actually flying out to Florida on Friday to teach a paint party. And um, we have several members of our paint party headquarters, um, ladies in Florida. So I just really want, um, if y'all could just pray for them and just, you know, hope that all of that, you know, the hurricane just goes away. It's just, oh, I just hate hurricanes so much. Um, you know, my brother there, my brother and my sister, you know, in Panama City Beach when hurricane hit last year, the Mexico Beach area. And I'm telling you, like, my my brother's house is here. I went in May and then across the street, like Caddy Corner, the house is gone. Like, it's crazy. Um, so I'm just praying for them and hoping all of, all of that's going okay. So if you're in Florida, just know we love y'all and we're praying for y'all and make sure safety is number one. Like, you know, paint parties can be rescheduled. I mean, I know paint parties are really big for us, but paint parties can be rescheduled. And um, it's not the, the end of the world if you have to reschedule a paint party. And I just canceled mine in Florida because I'm like, it's just so stressful for all of them there and all of that stuff. So yeah, so just always know safety number one. And um, okay, so I'm just kind of taking my gold paint Right now it kind of looks like a weird apple. We're gonna change that, so don't worry. And then we're gonna add some little details to it. And we're also gonna use a palette knife, okay? So I'm kind of doing this weird, I usually don't paint with my hand like this, but I'm just trying to not put my whole body in front of the thing. Oh, we have a first time watcher, yay! And we got Ashley on, woohoo! And so I'm just kind of shimmying it up here because I don't want to do this and cover it, but I could do this. So you just kind of got to get creative um, when you're teaching your paint parties because again, if you're showing somebody how to do something, you can't be in front of it <laughs> and then expect them to see it. All right, so those of y'all that are new to me, um, I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties and I have a gift for y'all today and it is in the link in the description if you want to get this it's a super quick easy mostly pictures ebook but it tells you some really great information on you know step one step two on what you can do to start teaching and um, paint parties and then we have a discount code for you if you want to order any of essential stencils stencils and at the end of the broadcast, I am going to pick three of you and Essential Stencil is going to, literally, I'm just going to like call out names that are coming up on the comments and they are going to ship you items from their stuff. So anyway, I'm so glad you're here. So here's how we're going to do this. So I just put some layers of gold. So I used the gold metallic, my favorite paint in the whole world. If you know me at all or you're new to me, you will know soon. This is my favorite paint ever. It's 24 karat gold. Deco Art has several kinds, but make sure you get the 24 karat gold. There it is, 24 karat gold. That's what makes the difference. You seriously only need, um, <laughs> yes please Heidi. You seriously, like it's like a one coat. Like I've had some golds where it sucks. Like you can't do anything with it. Um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take some different colors. So you can see here earlier my paint palette. So if you want to see the full tutorial on this one, it's on my Facebook page, Texas Art and Soul. But I'm going to be using some of this. This is Sea Breeze. And I'm going to be using some of this Laguna. And in a minute, I'm going to show you how I'm going to stencil gather on here. Okay, so. We're gonna take the brush. This is where, actually I'm gonna just go straight to the palette, okay? So I'm just gonna be dipping into here. I'm just dipping a little bit of the blues, the turquoise colors, and I'm just gonna start kinda, of, oh, I have to hold this, hold on. I gotta, I gotta hold this, cause it's gonna get real crazy. And I'm, see how I'm just taking it and just kinda of like plowing it through? Just scra really scraping it, guys. Really, all I'm doing is just kind of scraping it. I really should have, like, nailed this up to the wall before I got on here. <laughs> so I'm sorry for this kind of awkward hovering over the painting. But 
Okay, that's what we got going on here. So I'm just scraping some colors. I'm gonna get some browns in here. And those of y'all that are like, why is she doing a turquoise-ish pumpkin? Um, you know, pumpkins are like, I went to Big Lots the other day to get something, I don't remember what. And, um, and they have like a whole set of these bluish pumpkins. Have y'all seen it yet? It's kind of cool. It's like, I guess if you don't like the traditional fall colors, you could go with some of this. Okay, so I scraped in some blues. Now all you have to do is just kind of wipe this off. So I'm just wiping it off with a paper towel. And then I'm going to use some browns and oranges. So here's some brown color. This is a dark chocolate. And then I'm going to use a canyon orange. Now, usually I don't love canyon orange, but for pumpkins, I do. Um, and then I love, you know, I love my metallics. This one is a copper. So I'm gonna use a metallic deco art copper. And we're gonna have some fun with this. So I'm just gonna take this, and then this is from earlier. It's still, some of these metallics, sometimes you really gotta go crazy and shake them. Yeah, this one has like all the goo up top. I don't know what's going on with that. It's like all of it. It's, it's really pretty though once it comes out. Okay, so this one is a champagne gold. Champagne gold. So, um, so I'm just gonna kind of go between these colors and just scrape it. See how this one's kind of like bare, but this one has some some structure to it. So before I do that, let me go ahead and put in my lines. All right. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown, just back and forth, and then I'm just gonna find my lines. So what I like to usually do first is I'm gonna put in a stem. and try not to lose this pumpkin. Okay, so just kind of put you in a stem, and then we'll work on that stem in a minute. It's fine for now. It's fine for now. And then I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit, and then I'm gonna start this one here, and then I'm gonna go on this side, to bring this down. You're just getting it really flat. Oh, and those of y'all that are just joined, um, if you are interested at all in learning anything about teaching paint parties, um, that is my specialty. I love teaching you how to make money teaching paint parties. So if you're like, hey, I've been buying some of these essential stencils and everybody keeps asking me to make them one of these signs, you know, and um, you could, instead of just selling one, you could do a paint party and sell 10 at once and you don't have to paint them. You could just get your stencils from Essential Stencil did I just put, okay, I'm good. I thought I just put gold all over my butt. <laughs> um, instead of doing, I probably am now that I'm doing this. It's just too tight. It's too tight. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, so what you could do is instead of selling one off, you could actually, um, you know, do like, a set of 10. So maybe you get a few of these stencils. So like if you have 10 people, I recommend having at least three of these. So they're reusable. You'll be able to use them forever. And then what you could do is instead of saying, okay, here's, you know, one for $55 or whatever, you could teach a paint party and then that paint party could end up, you know, paying you $350, $450 for one night. So a lot of times people are like, I'm not an artist. I can't do this. And I'm like, but you don't need to be an artist. <laughs> you don't need to be an artist to do these kinds of things. And you just have to have like eh, a willingness to be organized and to set it up. And then that's where I really love to help you is where I like love to talk about all the marketing stuff because it's really a, it's really a marketing game when it comes down to it. 
It's about how you, you know, let people know that you're doing this. And if nobody knows that you're teaching a paint party, you're not going to have any paint parties. But that's where I really specialize. So if you're like, I'm not sure, Heidi, just get this. It's in the description, and you'll be able to see. Um, it's an easy read. And you'll be able to quickly see some tricks and tips to get you started right away. And September 5th, my hair is covering it, um, starts the Paint Party Revolution. It's a three-part free video series that's going to walk you through everything from supplies to how to book your paint parties to um, your other things also going to be... That like makes my eyes look like they're all... I'm really not tired, y'all. It's just my hat. Um, and then the other thing is going to be how to get prepaid painters. So um, if you're just wanting some free information, make sure you get that. And then um, I'm going to be picking three people at the end of this to win prizes from Essential Stencil. They're actually going to ship you some stencils. Okay, let's get to it. I'm going to take the palette knife. I'm just going to go into this orange and this copper and let's start scraping. Okay, so I'm just going to start scraping. This is so fun, y'all. If you need like a therapy session, this is where it's at. It's so fun. Anybody use painting as therapy? I do. I use painting as therapy all the time. When I have so much like so much I feel like I have to do or it's on my plate. If I can just carve out a few hours of painting, it's like life is all good again. <laughs> Everything is, is perfectly in its place as long as I'm painting. So I'm just scraping this through. You can get as fancy with the orange and the copper as you want, but it really just adds like a really neat dimension to this pumpkin and it's seriously not hard. I'm just like, you can see, I'm just taking a plastic, I'm not even using, I'm not even using like a real palette knife. Like I'm not even using a real one. I'm using a freaking plastic one. So you can get these. So it's not, guys, we're not doing fine art. We're just having fun. We're just doing some fun art, adding some words. And then this could be something that you would hang maybe above your fire. This is huge, so you might want to do like a smaller, smaller version. I just wanted to do a bigger one to kind of show y'all, um, because it's fun. It's fun to paint big. Does anybody else like to paint big? I love it. I have a mural um, project coming up, and I am so excited. It's going to be one of my favorite murals I think I've ever done. Um, that's the other thing, too. So many people, yes, painting is my happy place. Oh, I'm so glad y'all feel the same way. Yes, it is. It's my happy place. I absolutely love it. And um, yeah, when I do murals, when I do the large murals, and this is a really big one, um, I am so excited because it's, I mean, yes, I know I get paid for it, but I feel like I'm on vacation. When people hire me for murals, I'm like, yes, <laughs> sure, I'll do that because it just feels like a fun vacation. Um, and that's the thing too, like so many people think, well, if I end up doing paint parties, now I can't do this, or now I can't do that. No, guys, I, sorry, my blinds are, I'm going to shut my blinds, it's getting weird. Um, what I have noticed is that because I do paint parties, I've had more mural opportunities. Because I do paint parties, I've had more people ask me to do this, or to do that, or you know, whether you're wanting to do commissions or not, um, it's just it's just kind of a byproduct of what happens when you're doing that. Okay, so I'm going to just add some kind of like little vines here. I just did this really tight. Let's see if I, I might need to switch to my liner. Sometimes I just love this brush so much. It's just a one inch flat, y'all. Um, but I'm going to switch to a liner because this is a little too thin. Just getting a little bit of paint, twist and pull. Hey, Blue. Did y'all see Blue earlier? Pixie did a whole Halloween costume and dressed him up as Harry Potter. And um, my dog, Blue, he is so adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, I mean, he is mad. He is so mad, he hates it. Like you can tell, he's like totally angry about being in this costume. But y'all have got to go see the picture. It is so funny. 
Pixie did like a backdrop. She had like her Harry Potter poster and her books and yeah, it was, it's really funny. And Blue's face is just like, you've got, y'all yeah, see Blue. Let me get you, let me get Blue. Come here, buddy. He's not in costume right now, but if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see him in costume and he is not happy about it. Where are you? He was not happy at all. He had, she put on glasses with the Harry Potter um, little lightning bolt and she had a whole outfit made for him. She dyed a tie. It was so, so funny. <laughs> so funny. And he looked just freaking adorable. He looked so adorable. Oh, I think I got his paw painted on. Did I get your paw? Are you okay? Okay, say bye. I'm gonna paint. He's so funny. Okay. But yeah, he had this look like, Really, again, <laughs> he had that look because he's he's been dressed up a few times. If you can believe that or not. <laughs> okay, so these are just fun little lines. You can add the golds to it too, and then in just a second, I'm going to start showing y'all the stencil because here's the thing: the stencils are really what kind of makes the painting all come together. Because you can have like, you know, your painting, but once you start adding words, that's when it kind of takes on a new meaning. And what I've noticed too is the painting, the paint parties I do, it really has made a big difference in my paint parties when we not only have something we paint, but we also have um, an inspiring word or it's a sign or something that makes it actually kind of come together. So I think I'm gonna put gather, okay, top or middle? What do y'all think? Top or middle? I'm gonna let y'all vote for just a second while I get my color ready. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, yes, he's so cute. He's such a cutie pie. I need y'all to help me vote. Can y'all vote? top or middle and can you also please vote um white paint or gold paint i think i know which one i want and i think i know which color i want but i want to see what y'all have to say so here's the options top or middle top or middle and then do you want gold or white gold or white yeah, I like the top too. We have we have kind of a both. I think if I do top, I think I can fill this whole thing with pumpkins later. So I think what I'll do is I'll do the top here. We have a lot of votes for top. And then I'll come back later and fill it with a bunch of little pumpkins. What do y'all think about that? Have a bunch of pumpkins in there? And then, oh, we got another paint party headquarter sister. Yay! We have we have over 400. Um, paint Party Headquarters Sisters. I think we might have one brother in there. <laughs> I think we have one boy. Um, but yeah, the um, Paint Party Headquarters is so, so awesome. They are making some, some progress in there for sure. Let's see. Gold, gold. Yes, that's what I was thinking too. Y'all know me too well. Top and gold. Okay. Yes, with white highlights. I like that, Debbie. Very cool. Yep, white with gold highlights, top gold. Okay, so we're gonna go top gold with um, white highlights. Let me grab my little makeup sponge. So Essential Stencil has official stencil thingies. Um, I just always forget to order them. So I end up getting makeup sponges, but their stuff is probably way better. I probably need to order some and test it. And um, so these are just makeup sponges from the dollar store. You can get them from Walmart. Oh, yay, Leanne's here. We have another Paint Party Headquarters sister. Um, so I'm going to do the gold up here. And since I am doing this not flat because of the way the angle is, I'm going to tape this. So let me grab some tape. And usually I recommend doing your stencils flat. So what I am doing is not wise, okay? It's better flat, especially with what is going on with my with such a large piece because it's a large piece and because it is um the stencil is kind of moving i'm gonna give myself a challenge here um so i 
I don't mind doing this because I can clean up my edges pretty quick and pretty good. Um, but if you're new to stenciling, anybody new to stenciling, make sure you use it, do it flat, okay? I just recommend making it flat. It's just easier. But I like a challenge, so I'm going to show y'all what it looks like if you make a mistake, and it's okay. So I'm just going to go in here. And I'm just putting tape down. And you can see I've used this quite a bit. So it is coming up. So it's even coming up on my stuff. So I have used this quite a bit, but it's okay um, because I'm gonna show y'all how you can make a mistake and it can still be okay. So what I decided is I'm gonna come back later and do a bunch of little pumpkins. I might just take the palette knife and just scrape them on. Like, you know, just scrape some pumpkins on here, like different sizes. I think that'll be really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna use my 24 karat gold, and then I'm just going to dab it in there. And again, I like to challenge myself, so I'm using metallics too, and metallics can get a little tricky because they're not, they're, what you call it? Oh, never stenciled. Oh, we got a new stenciler. Well, you're going to love this, and I'm picking Three people to win some stencils. I don't know what they're gonna ship y'all, but I'm just gonna say three names and then they are going to um, actually ship these, ship y'all something. I don't know what, but it's always really good. Um, so just make sure you're commenting. So here's the trick with metallics. Metallics, because they are, you know, shimmery and they have that shine to them, they also are a little harder to stencil. So I'm probably gonna have some mess on here and it's okay because I can clean it up and I'll show y'all how to clean it up. So I'm just dabbing it. Sometimes it's good to dab and then dab off some of it. See how pretty that, can y'all see how pretty? It's just so pretty. And then I just dab up and down. So again, I'm working with a very wobbly, very wobbly easel. I don't recommend, I recommend you setting it flat. So do as I say, not as I do tonight. But I just wanted y'all to be able to see these pumpkins. Okay, so I'm just taking these and dabbing up and down. And then those of y'all that are new and wanting to learn about teaching paint parties, um, you know, a lot of times the conversation is around money because paint parties is a great way to make extra money, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but there was a, a woman named Shelly in our group, she may be watching right now, and she talked about the hope that it's brought her. You know, just, yes, the money is a bonus, but just the hope that she's gotten from doing this new thing and the confidence. She said that her coworkers actually said she's acting like she's almost like she's fallen in love. Like she's just so excited about life and excited about what she's doing. And so I think sometimes, you know, it can be easy to go, yes, we relate it to 10, you know, 10 painters at $35 a person, that's $350 minus some, you know, supplies. But then the other benefits of paint parties are like, it's just insane. It's just insane. And so when you start looking at it as, you know, I always say, like, I feel like, you know, my job in life, I feel like my, what God has put me here for is to share God's love through art. Like, I feel like that's what I am meant to do. And the vehicle in which I do that is through painting and paint parties. And so I think every single one of us has a talent, has a gift. And I think sometimes we can look at something so where we might think it's just a craft or it's just a pumpkin. You know, it's nothing serious. It's nothing major. It's just a pumpkin, but you never know, like, the people that come to your paint party and, you know, who knows? They might have lost somebody or they might have, you know, been going through a hard time or, you know, who knows? Maybe they just need away from their kids for a couple of hours and they just want to come hang out and, you know, talk to some adults and not change diapers for two hours. I mean, we don't know what's going on, but I do know that after many years of doing this, you know, and it's totally changed my life. I have seen the impact that it's had on other people. And so I can sit here confidently and say like, yes, it may look like it's just a craft or just something fun or just something, but there's so much more to it. 
And I think that people that just sit there and fear and think, yeah, I'm really good at that, but yeah, my family, you know, maybe we could use some extra money, but I'm too scared. Like, I'm too scared. I'm not an art teacher. Well, guess what? I taught art for 10 years, but my degree is in communication. I have a minor in psychology. I was terrified of public speaking, so terrified that I actually wore a jack-in-the-box head. I created a jack-in-the-box head because I loved art, even though I wasn't a degreed artist. Don't worry, kids, parents, if you're watching. I did go back and get my art certification, which is basically year, a year-long program, and it's test. It wasn't like I went to all these crazy art classes. I just basically passed tests, and then I was able to teach. But guys, I'm not a fine artist, or you know, as you can tell, I'm not a fine artist, and so a lot of people think they need a certificate or they need something to teach paint parties. No, you're not teaching fine art. You are not teaching you know, like major art lessons. You're not teaching them that. You're giving people an escape and a place to have some fun. And honestly, if you are a super fine artist, this could be a little more challenging for you. It's actually better if you're not a super fine artist because you, you're just doing the crafty stuff, you're doing the fun stuff, you're doing the cute stuff that people want to just escape life, have some quick success, have some fun with their friends and create. And then you're creating that environment for them. So I can't tell you how many times people go, well, I'm not an artist, I don't have an art degree. And I'm like, well, I don't have an art degree. And I've been doing this for 10 plus years, you know? And so it's just, you have to remember guys, like paint parties could just be a stepping stone to the next thing you're doing. Just because you're like, hey, maybe let me do two paint parties and pay for Christmas does not mean that you can't do anything else ever. Like, oh my gosh, I did two paint parties and I'm stuck in it forever. No, try it. And if you're like, I just wanna know the first steps, get this, it's in the description. You can get it for free. Um, I charge 17 on my website, but don't buy it. Get it on this link for free. And it's really short, simple, to the point, and get most of its pictures, <laughs> so it's not a long read. I always get emails, I say, hey, did you get the email, and then I'll get back, no, I haven't had time to read it, and I'm like, guys, it's like mostly pictures. It'll, you can get through it really fast. Um, but it's not you know, really, really hard to do. The part that people struggle on, and the part where I feel like I'm able to really help and give value is the marketing. You know, so many times people get their feelings hurt because they've done one or two posts and nobody signed up for their party. Well, that's just nature. Like, how many times do you get a field trip form for your kid at school and we have to see it 17 times before we sign it and fill it in? I mean, I'm always the last one to fill those in. And so it's just, it's just human nature. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just the way you have to learn to market it. And that's where September 5th, that's where I'm going to be sharing a lot of those details. Um, and it's a free Paint Party Revolution series, and I would love to have y'all. Um, all you have to do to get those is just make sure you're on my email list, and you can do that by getting that ebook. And um, just make sure you check your spam. Okay, I'm going to lift this, and it may have some mistakes because, hold on. It may have some mistakes because I am doing this vertically. Oh, Essential Stencil wins again. Okay, I love their stuff because look at that. I did that on a vertical, a vertical place and it still pretty much did exactly what I needed it to do. So what I could do now, since I haven't done much black in here at all, what I could do now is take somebody's suggestion. Um, who said use the white for the highlight? Ugh. I was gonna like peek over the top, but you can't even, oh wait, no, you can't see me. <laughs> it's like crazy, this, this board is so big, it's hard, to, it's hard to get around it. So now I'm just gonna take a liner brush and just quickly kind of take it and then just start on the left and you just do a line on the left and the bottom. So I just kind of quickly and I'll go through here, and in just a second, I'm gonna pick three winners. So as you're commenting, um, let me know what you think of it, and I'm gonna be looking for your names. I'm gonna pick three of y'all. 
Okay, so we have here. And thank you all so much for watching. Um, I know sometimes I ramble and I apologize, but I, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but I am very passionate about paint parties. And I am very passionate because it's changed my family's life and I've seen it change so many other people's lives. So whether it's just, you know, the, the little wins or even the really big wins. So I sometimes get a little talkative because I am so, so passionate about what it can do. You know, even if you just do a few of them. Um, yeah, we had a challenge. There we go. Just kind of in and out like that. It's getting real. I'm getting serious because I'm concentrating. See how it starts to pop out? You can see it more. Okay, gather. And then I could go in there too with that. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just add a ton of little pumpkins here. I think I'm just going to go crazy later and add those there. But, um, but yeah, I just want to wrap up and just say, first off, thank y'all so, so much for being here. Um, again, if you want to be a part of the September 5th and you need this ebook, it's in the link, the description. Check it out. It's 17 on my website, but don't buy it from my website. Get it here for free. And then the colors, we have the, the 24 karat gold, a must have for any paint parties. Um, I used the Laguna. I also used the Sea Breeze, which is a great color. And then the stencil, this one comes with, correct me if I'm wrong, essential stencil, but this one I think comes with um, thankful, blessed, I think it's like thankful, blessed, and grateful. I think it has like a set of three. Um, so make sure you check out Essential Stencil. There is a code in the description where you can get a um, amount off. And then these guys, if you use black lights, they are really, really fun to do. So use neon lights and then you can go from there. All right, I'm ready to pick the winner. Okay, let's see who's coming through. Okay, we have Caitlin Gladder. Caitlin Gladder, make sure you message Essential Stencil. You have won. We have another person, Rita Barker. Oh my gosh, Rita, message the um, Essential Stencil. They're gonna send you something. Um, and we have, let's see, is it Danit? I don't know how to say it, Danetti? Danetti O, o Tier. Danetti O Tier, I am so sorry if I messed up your name. You are winner number three. So Danetta O Tier, Rita Barker, and Caitlin Gladder. Y'all three are the winners today. Um, so make sure you message Essential, Essential, <laughs> Essential Stencil. They are going to be giving you something really fun, shipping it to your house. And then I just wanna say thank y'all for joining. Make sure if you did not win, go ahead and order these. This is just a fun painting to do. And it's really fun regardless if you're doing it as a paint party or just for fun for your um, door. So anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. Thank y'all for being here. And I wanna show y'all real quick just how big this is so y'all can see the size. This is a piece of wood I got from Lowe's and it is all the way, this is how tall it is. It's all the way to, well, you know where it's to. It's all the way to there. <laughs> so it's a ginormous size and then you can see up close kind of how the shimmer, wait, hold on, let me see. Can you see the shimmer of the small? Yeah, just so y'all can see it. Okay, all right guys, I hope y'all had fun. Thank y'all for being here, and I hope y'all have a great day. Talk to you soon, bye.